after many days in Tromso, which is above the Arctic Circle, seeing the sun was a beautiful sight, something that we take for granted. I was heading to Bergen, which is the second largest city in Norway. The landscape was very different in Bergen compared to Tromso. You can look at my Tromso video by clicking on the top right corner. Bergen, as most of Norway, is mountainous and you have cute little colourful houses nestled in the hills. A localite told me that it is the super rich who stay in them. I decided to take a walk to Bregen, which has a medieval wharf in the historic harbour district, which has colourful wooden clad boat houses. The road constructions, narrow roads and the inconvenience is not just a thing of our country. The next day, as per a roommate's suggestion, I decided to trek Mount Flyen. You can take the cable car or do the trek. I decided to explore it on foot. Therefore, I prepared my breakfast and set out in the morning. Last night, the weather was cold with extreme winds and rains. The winds were so strong that I wondered if the window panes would crack. Considering this and not sure on how many hours I would be outside, I decided to carry my thicker rainproof jacket. I gathered it is better to feel hotter and sweat than get lost somewhere in the woods with winds and rains. You have a proper trekking path and occasionally you could find one or two people jogging up the hill even if it rains. The walk to Florian Mountain. As you climb higher, the winds became stronger. It looked like I was the only trekker apart from the two to three jockers that I had encountered.
and there this is a wooden shed where you can camp if you so wish norway has this amazing law that the nature is not a single person's property therefore you are allowed to camp anywhere At last I found some life. Here, the water is almost, the lake is almost frozen. Almost That's a frozen frozen. lake. By now, I was clueless as to where I was. Google Maps had frozen, and it was showing me parts which did not exist. It was late afternoon by now and the sun was going over the horizon and a slight drizzle had begun After a couple of peaks of the cityscape, I decided I will generally go in the downward direction towards the city. At one place it was a T junction. I decided to take the right. However, after about 10 to 15 minutes of walk, the road led to a building. I had to retrace and go in the opposite direction. I was relieved at last to find some houses and I had half a mind to knock and ask someone the way out. Luckily I saw someone who had stepped out to throw their trash and he guided me to go through some narrow passages between the houses. It almost looked as if I was going through private property. Anyways, at last I reached somewhere near the harbor and lo and behold, Google started working. If you like this video, do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.